Imami Limited is an Indian producer of fast-moving consumer goods, engaged in persona care and health care businesses. The company is headquartered in Kolkata. Products The company is well known in India for its fairness cream products for men. In 2008, Imami acquired Sandu Pharmaceutical Works Limited for Rs 730 crores. The company demerged Sandu FMCG into Imami and raised Rs 310 CR through QIP. The company became debt free within two years of the Zandu deal. The company's health products unit offers tonics for colds and coughs as well as nutraceuticals. The company forayed into men's deodorant market by launching HE brand of deodorants. Rithik Roshan was appointed as brand ambassador for HE brand. The company has entered into an agreement with Mr. Sunni of Junjar to acquire his hair and scalp care business under the KSH King and Allied brands. The acquisition marks Imami's foray in the Ayurvedic hair and scalp care segment which is growing at a rapid pace. The transaction envisages transfer of the business as going concern on a slump sale basis and will include brand portfolio of Ayurvedic medicinal oil, herbal shampoo and conditioner and Ayurvedic capsules along with its respective formulations and all related assets, rights and liabilities including working capital for a total consideration of Rs 1651 crores. The acquisition process is expected to be completed in a month's time. The company was acquired by Splash Corporation for Rs 200 crore. Subsidiaries, the following companies are part of the Imami Group of Companies. Imami Paper Mills Limited, Imami Agrotech Limited, Imami Frank Russ Limited, Starmark, Imami Chisel Art, CRI Limited, Imami Cement Limited, Imami Realty Limited. History the inception of Imami Group took place in the mid-1970s when two childhood friends, R.S. Agarwal and R.S. Goenka, left their management jobs with the Bla Group to set up Chemco Chemicals, an Ayurvedic medicine and cosmetic manufacturing unit in Kolkata in 1974. At that time the Indian FMCG market was still dominated by multinationals. The company was established with modest capital of Rs 20,000 and started manufacturing cosmetic products as well as Ayurvedic medicines under the brand name of Imami from a small factory in Kolkata, targeting sales at the Indian middle class. In the early days the founders personally sold their cosmetics from shop to shop, using hand-pulled rickshaws. They soon established recurring consumer demand, and gradually hired additional staff. A chain of distributors was established and the sale of Imami products spread from West Bengal to rest of eastern India and gradually to other states. Imami Talcum, Imami Vanishing Cream and Imami Cold Cream sold well. The company's marketing techniques were to sell dreams of beauty to Indian women using radio and TV advertising. In 1978, Agarwal acquired Himani Limited, a privately owned cosmetics company with a factory in Kolkata. The business of Himani was almost 100 years old, although it had only been incorporated in 1949 as a private limited company. It had a good brand equity in eastern India, but was in financial trouble. Agarwal and Goenka managed to restore it to profit, at considerable risk considering the small capital base of their own company at the time. This later proved to be the turning point for their business. Agarwal decided to produce healthcare items and toiletries based on Ayurvedic preparation in the Himani factory. Ten years after commencement of the company, it launched Bora Plus antiseptic cream under the Himani umbrella in 1984. This became a flagship brand and was extended to other products such as Bora Plus prickly heat powder. Imami brands started selling in all states of North, East and West India. Today Bora Plus is not only the largest selling antiseptic cream in India but also in Russia, Ukraine, and Nepal. In the 1983 Bollywood film Agatum Nahot, one of the earliest brand placement campaigns was achieved with lead actor Rajesh Khanna playing the managing director of Imami. In the 1990s, Imami launches another flagship brand under the Himani umbrella, Navratna Cool Oil, and expanded production by opening its second factory, at Pondicherry. The introduction of new brands continued and the company extended its distribution network to South India, with Navratna spearheading the process. In 1995, 
the partnership firm Chemco Chemicals was converted into a public limited company under the name Imami Limited. In 1998, Imani Limited was merged into Imami Limited. In 2000, with a view to concentrate on its core FMCG business, Imami's investment undertaking was demerged by issuing shares in Pan Imami Cosm Limited to shareholders of Imami. In 2003 a new factory unit was set up at Amangane, Guwahati. A public issue of 5 million equity shares at RS70 followed in 2005. The issue was oversubscribed by 36 times. The share price later rose to RS210. In 2005 Imami launched Fair and Handsome, the first fairness cream for men. In 2006 the company decided to introduce a healthcare division and a number of new brands of Ayurvedic OTC medicines. Among the brands created by the company, annual sales of Navratna are at RS3 billion followed by Boropolis at RS2.50 billion and Fairness at RS1 billion. Sona Chandi Shire and Prash, Menthopolis and Fast Relief also among the top brands in their respective categories. In 2006, JB Marketing and Finance Limited, the erstwhile marketing company of the Imami Group merged with Imami Limited and the total turnover of Imami including sales in domestic and export markets stood at RS 5.16 billion at the end of the fiscal year 2006 July. Imami Limited acquired a major stake in Zandu Pharmaceuticals Works Limited, a century-old household name in India, for RS 7 billion. Imami added some of Zandu's prominent brands like Zandu Balm, Zandu Shire and Prash, Zandu Kesri Jeevan, Zandu Paintcharishta, Sudarshan and Nitium Cherna to its own range. Within three decades, the company has grown to RS 10 billion Imami Limited under the RS 30 billion Imami Group. Imami is still led by Agarwal and Goenka, with the help of second generation directors from their two families and professional staff. The group recently moved to a new corporate office Imami Tower in Kolkata. Controversies equals Fair and Handsome equals, In 2007, the company attracted controversy with an advertisement for its skin whitening cream for men, Fair and Handsome. Imami and a star of the campaign, Shahrukh Khan, were accused of perpetuating racism. In July 2013, WOW a Shinai based NGO launched a campaign against Imami asking them to remove the fair and handsome advertisement starring Khan, saying that it is discriminating against people on the basis of skin color. The campaign has been supported by celebrities like Nandita Das Tanasita Chatterjee. More than 22,000 people have signed an online petition launched by them. Equals Hospital Fire Equals, on December 9, 2011, Kolkata police arrested Agarwal and Goenka, founders of Imami and directors of AMRI hospitals, for negligently causing death to 91 people as a result of a fire at AMRI hospitals on the same day. It is recorded as the largest hospital tragedy in India, caused due to storing toxic and inflammable materials in the basement of the hospital, which was sanctioned for car parking. The fire alarms and sprinklers installed at the hospital did not work during the fire. References External links, official website